Hello, everyone. Welcome to October 1st, 2023. We are in the last week of ABAP CAP sessions. And the topic for today's session is custom code adaptation to SAP S4 HANA and ABAP Cloud. If you have any questions, kindly post your questions in the chat and it will be addressed there. So without any further delay, I would like now like to invite our speakers, Olga and Thomas from SAP to introduce themselves and start today's session. Welcome Olga and Thomas to the session. Thank you very much. Um, hello everybody and welcome to our next uh, DevTOBA session. DevTOBA first session about uh, custom code adaptation for SAP S4 HANA and ABAP Cloud. My name is Olga Dalinska and I'm product manager for ABA platform. And uh, together with me is my colleague Thomas Fiddler, who is leading the development of the whole tools in the area of custom code. And uh, Thomas will kindly support us in the chat. So if you have any questions during the session, you can just write down your question into the chat and Thomas will be happy to assist you with the answer. So, custom code adaptation to s hana and above cloud. Let's take a short look at the agenda. We will start with taking a look at how custom code transformation of the s hana system conversion looks like and what are different options which you have for your custom code and take a look at details of the, each option from the retirement of unused custom code and adaptation to the s hana simplifications to the complete uh, renovation of the custom code or innovation. So let's start with the first part, custom code transformation after s hana system conversion. After Today we have the challenge in the um, S4HANA private cloud and on-premise landscapes that uh, there there is a lot of traditional classic custom code which have been developed since a lot of years with classic accessibility options. If we want to move uh, the system in the direction of the clean core, if we want to adapt above cloud development model, then we will surely uh, need to start all the developments with above cloud. On the other side, you have this classic custom code, which endangers upgrades. And uh, you need also to handle this classic custom code because probably you need to change it to change uh, a DIN application, add additional fills or use unreleased APIs and so on. And therefore, we have a challenge that in this traditional private cloud and on-premise as for HANA landscape, we must enable coexistence of two developments model, the development with the new ABAP cloud development approach and also traditional classic extensions must be allowed. And the um, target for these releases should be actually to reduce the amount of classic developments and to uh, force uh, the development with ABAP cloud development model and uh, to enable it as well. And therefore, in these landscapes, we propose to work with so-called three extensibility tiers. The first tier is uh, your ABAP development, which um, your, your ABAP uh, uh, code, which will be developed with ABAP cloud development model, meaning you will use only released APIs, you will use ABAP cloud uh, language version, and uh, about RESTful application programming model and so on. This tier is complete, uh, ready for about cloud, and uh, this tier should be default for all new kinds of developments. There is also tier two. Tier two is for the case if you don't find any released APIs from SAP, you can write your own custom wrapper, which will uh, extend the tier one and which will enable um, um, which will release uh, your unreleased APIs for public usage. So you can write the tier two custom wrapper to extend the tier one and to release unreleased API. And as soon as SAP provides the released APIs, you can retire your wrapper. So tier two is the level 
where you also enable unreleased objects for tier one development. And uh, you have also this tier three, this classic above development, which is there. And um, as I already said, the target should be to avoid and to minimize the content which will, developed, which will be developed in tier three. And for this, uh, we have different uh, options which we'll take a look at uh, during this session. So you can retire unused code. This is the first option. Then you can adapt the existing code to s for hana simplification. This would be the easiest way. And if you want to go to, into the direction of clean code with above cloud, then you can either renovate the existing application directly on stack within s for hana solution or side by side on SAP Business Technology Platform. And then you would use the above cloud development model to adapt your code for cloud readiness. Or you can also innovate uh, your application and uh, it means com develop a completely new one, which will use the newest feature from this Fohana solution or the new services from SAP Business Technology Platform. So you have these uh, different options in place. Which tools are most relevant for the custom all custom code migration activities? These are two tools, custom code migration app and above development tools for Eclipse, including the quick fixes. Custom code migration app, maybe you probably know it already from uh, s hana conversion projects. We delivered the app uh, for, especially for this purpose, and then we extended it also for other scenarios. So you can use the app to analyze your custom code for s hana for cloud readiness, and also we support classic uh, above test cockpit use cases. The app is capable to consider uh, the collected usage data. You have uh, different dashboards there, different filters and graphical uh, presentations, and uh, you have um, also detailed navigations and so on. And this tool is uh, for the custom code analysis and the above development tools for Eclipse uh, is the tool of choice for all uh, custom code adaptation activities, uh, including uh, the quick fixes, which uh, can automate your adaptation uh, of the code adjustment. So let's start uh, with uh, taking a look at different options for a custom code. First, you can retire unused code, and our experience shows that uh, in traditional custom landscapes, about 30 to 60, even 60% 60 of the custom code is not used in productive environments. And therefore, if you adapt this code or uh, renovate this code, that would be a huge effort, and this is a needless operation. And therefore, we recommend to collect the usage data for your custom code, and uh, we recommend to start with the usage data collection at least one year before your system conversion project to SAP is for HANA. We offer the tools for that. You can use ABAP Call Monitor together with SUCG transaction directly on your uh, ERP system before system conversion in order to collect the usage data. And uh, during system conversion, you can upload collected usage data to the custom code migration app, which will define the initial scope for the custom code migration based on the collected usage data. Of course, you can adjust any time the scope manually. And uh, for the unused code, you have then different options. Either you can uh, create a deletion transport uh, directly on the ERP system and delete the unused code during s conversion using the uh, software update manager capabilities, or you can uh, just keep the unused code on the system, and uh, after system conversion, you can use the JCTS capabilities of the new s solution, and you can create backup in external Git repository for your unused code. So the recommendation is clear, uh, collect the usage data and consider usage data during system conversion. If you uh, were not able to do so, you can still uh, consider usage data also after the system conversion, if you collect it and uh, upload it to the custom code migration app. 
Another option, if you don't want to make use of a new ABAP cloud development model and you just want to adapt your system to the s -Bohana, as it is, is um, adaptation of custom code for s -Bohana. So this is the minimum operation which you need to carry out after you convert your existing system to s -Bohana. And for this purpose, also custom code migration app offers you different analysis capabilities you can run as for HANA readiness checks over your code, and um, you can evaluate the results and to find out different things, like for example, in which simplification areas you have your most findings, or uh, for example, what are the most uh, urgent findings, or which findings can be adapted using the quick fixes in above development tools in Eclipse. And so on. You have different analysis capabilities, different chats and uh, overviews in the app, and so on. And um, the ABAP development tools for Eclipse is the tool of choice for your custom code adaptation. After system conversion, you can run um, the S4 HANA readiness checks over your code inside of ABAP development tools in Eclipse for the purpose of adaptation. And this would be the prerequisite of uh, applying the quick fixes. So we have different quick fixes in place. And for the most typical simplification use cases, like for example, missing order buying selects or um, the new material number conflicts with the new material number and amount field length extensions in the S4 HANA for all these typical simplification use cases. Um, you can expect up to a 60% uh, coverage rate uh, for the automated adaptation of the issues in your custom code. So we recommend to use this mass enabled quick fixes to um, adapt your custom code to Escohana and uh, for the cases which are not covered by the quick fixes, you will need to use the simplification nodes and adapt your custom code for as for HANA um, manually. Okay, now after this part, I would like to show you uh, the demo, how the custom code uh, migration app look like and how you can do the um, custom code analysis and uh, uh, for as for HANA and adapt your custom code for as for HANA. So I have here uh, my Fiori Launchpad and custom code migration app uh, runs uh, on the SAP BTP ABAP environment and uh, connects via uh, Cloud Connector and RFC to the on-premise system. So you can execute the custom code analysis of the connected ERP system. And for that, you need just to create uh, a Svohana migration project and there, you will uh, need to provide the project description and target release for um, S4HANA um, conversion, and then you can choose transition scenario. We support actually both use cases, classical system conversion and also new implementation. Uh, if you go the, to, into the direction of Greenfield uh, S4HANA implementation in your landscape, then you can also analyze some part of the custom code and take it over to the new S4HANA system. This is what this um, other transition scenario means. Here provide the material number links. Uh, here I've just left the classic one. And um, here you provide the connection to the remote system, which must be defined beforehand. And here in this area, you can upload uh, your collected usage data just uh, by using this add button. And here uh, you provide connection to the system and you see that in this case, the usage data is coming from above call monitor, which was collected directly on ERP system. By the way, you can also upload the usage data which you have collected with solution manager and usage procedure login. This was, uh, this was also broke. So I discard this draft because it will take uh, too much time to uh, analyze the whole custom code in the system and show you just the project which I have prepared beforehand. This is the same one. The analysis was of the ERP system S55 and um, 
you had you see here the number of the issues um, in the custom code after execution of um, Escohana readiness checks. Here in the scope area, as I already said, you have the possibility uh, to adjust the scope because the initial scope was defined based on the uploaded usage data. You see it here on the scoped objects. Not all objects were added uh, to the scope because uh, um, the usage data was considered. Only the objects which are really used are added to the scope initially. And here you see the graphical representation of the scope. Um, you see just which objects are in scope, which are not in scope, and so on. And you can also change the scope manually. Just go to the Change Scope button. And here uh, you can, for example, add um, some uh, packages to scope or remove packages to scope. It depends um, on which objects you would like to, to add to the scope. So just take some time here. For example, this package is not in the scope and I can choose this one and uh, add this package to the scope and then it's, it's there. So, um, changing the scope is very suitable operation just for the um, new developments because for new developments you don't have collected usage data and therefore you can just add them to scope there. Now I will click to, to the number of the findings. And um, here you will then see in the analysis area how the uh, analysis result looks like. Here you see the table with the findings, issues in your custom code. Uh, the same table you will find actually in the SAP GUI transaction ATC. So these are the Espohana, uh, the result of the execution of Espohana readiness checks of your custom code. You see here the check title, check message, which uh, custom code objects was analyzed from this package, from which package the simplification information is provided via the corresponding SAP node and if quick, quick fix is available for this use case and so on. Here in this mi middle area, you have um, the possibility to apply filter, for example, uh, if I would like to see uh, in which most simplification areas I have the Quick, I have the issues, then I would select the largest bus here and focus uh, the analysis results on these top simplification areas. And here in the upper area, you have other filters as well. You have here, for example, compact filters, which you can apply very quickly for the cases if you uh, would like to filter your results to different, uh, according to different criteria. For example, I would like to see all the findings which are in the custom code of the uh, specific package, like this one. And uh, I can just focus analysis on the uh, issues in this package. Or, for example, you have here also, um, you can focus your analysis results on different on, uh, references to the certain object types uh, of a SAP standard or object name and uh, so on. And here you have, you see also visual filters. Visual filter help you to filter the results also very quickly. For example, I would like to see all the results uh, in, in the custom code, uh, which is yeah, in scope for s hana migration. So just using in scope filter and um, only the findings for which uh, no quick fixes are available. So these findings uh, I would then need to um, fix manually. And here uh, you see the filtered results. And in the upper area, you have also the possibility to navigate to detailed information for every finding. For example, here I can go to details of this finding. And you see here which issue uh, happens in your custom code. Functionality is not possible, is not available. And here in your uh, custom code, uh, this program here, uh, the transaction is referenced and uh, this functionality is not available. So I can also 
split uh, on the object name and see the source code representation. And here in the source code, I see the transaction is called, which is uh, uh, not available in s And therefore, uh, I need just to look up the corresponding simplification node, which is also provided here in the details of the finding and look up how to solve this issue in the custom code. So you have here the detailed representation of the result. And here you can also um, download the whole table with analysis results uh, as Excel, for example, or in the format which is suitable for upload to a, a SAP readiness check. So this is how the uh, custom code migration app works. And uh, if you want to adapt your custom code for um, S4HANA, then uh, on the S4HANA system, you need to uh, also execute uh, S4HANA readiness checks over your custom code here. For example, I can choose uh, the package with custom code and on the S4HANA system as the system conversion. And then I would need to run above this cockpit with uh, S4HANA readiness check variant. And uh, the results of this above test cockpit check for S4HANA is the prerequisite for applying the mass enabled quick fixes to your custom code. So you need uh, first to execute S4HANA readiness checks locally in above development tools in Eclipse. And uh, then you can apply the quick fixes. So the above test cockpit running. And now we will get the work list with the arrows. These are the same arrows which you have seen in the custom code migration app with the same detailed information. And here you see here this yellow bulk here, which signalizes that for these findings are quick fixes available. Uh, by the way, you can also apply the single quick fix, just navigate to the source code and press uh, Ctrl-1 shortcut and you will get the quick fix proposal. Or you can uh, select the whole issues and apply the mass enabled quick fixes using the recommended quick fixes wizard. And here you will see uh, how many issues do you have in the custom code, how many issues can be fixed using the quick fixes. And uh, then uh, you see here for each of the issues how the problem in your custom code object looks like and how it will look like after applying the quick fix. So you can just take a look at all the proposals which quick fix uh, do for you. And if you agree to the quick fix proposal, you can just press the finish button and apply all the quick fixes at one shot. And in this way, you will get automated custom code adaptation for the uh, issues in your custom code. OK, this is how you can use the uh, custom code migration app and above development tools for Eclipse with quick fixes for custom code analysis and adaptation to as for HANA. And after you have adopted your custom code for S4HANA, we recommend since you, uh, after system conversion, have uh, the new HANA database, uh, then you can um, run the uh, SQL monitor in order to uh, detect performance crucial, crucial critical issues in your custom code. And um, you can then um, after detecting these performance critical SQLs, you can uh, rebuild them using, for example, above SQL, using above CDS, MDPs, and so on uh, to, to, to improve the quality of uh, performance um, on the new HANA database. Okay, another option um, uh, of the custom code transformation on uh, S4HANA private cloud or on-premise is the renovation of the custom code. You can renovate your custom code using above uh, cloud development model. And um, in the custom code migration app, we offer a so-called uh, complexity dashboard inside of the app, 
which allows you to detect uh, complex custom code developments, which could be redesigned, which could be good candidates for renovation for redesign. Uh, there are a lot of complex custom code developments and they require a high maintenance and uh, effort. And therefore, we recommend uh, at the point of the system conversion, try to get rid of these complex developments. And this complexity diagram and the custom code um, represents the complex developments. It's based on the uh, statical um, um, complexity uh, a parameter called uh, Halstead index. Uh, this index uh, shows you how difficult it is uh, to um, understand the code if you need to make changes in this code. And also this complexity of the custom code uh, correlates uh, very good with the, uh, um, uh, with the changes in the custom code because um, the complex custom code developments are changed uh, very frequently based on the experience. And therefore, if you uh, <clears throat> present your custom code in this dashboard, you can um, focus, uh, you will see all the de complex developments in your in your system, which will be just placed along um, this diagonal, uh, this uh, here, and you can just uh, focus on the, sorry, on the most complex developments, top complex developments will be placed in the right uh, upper corner of this diagram, and then you can make a decision if you need this functionality at all to speak to your business department. Um, maybe this business logic is already provided in this Kohana solution, or you can make a decision, maybe you need to develop uh, this functionality another way using the key user extensibility, use it side by side or directly or you built it on premise and so on. Um, you can also, uh, you have also the uh, possibility to adapt your existing code for about cloud directly in S4HANA 2022 system. In this S4HANA 2022 system, you will uh, have the possibility to execute about cloud readiness checks uh, over your custom code. And um, the detected issues uh, can be uh, Tile, uh, can be partly uh, solved using the quick fixes. We also uh, offer the quick fixes for cloud use case in above development tools in Eclipse, where you can adapt your custom code automatically to the above for cloud development language version to the usage of released objects. And you will get also the successor released API of the s solution displayed directly in the above test cockpit result of the cloud readiness check, and you can adapt your custom code uh, according to this. Um, by the way, if you miss in release APIs, as already mentioned, you can implement your own custom wrapper. I have also here provided the link to the guide, which will help you uh, to with how to, uh, to implement uh, the custom wrapper. And also you can request the missing public API at the corresponding SAP influence campaign. So um, now I would like to show you uh, the demo, how you would do it uh, in the system. And here I am in the s system. And here, here the uh, class, which I would like to adapt to about cloud. And therefore, I would uh, execute here about test cockpit with uh, about cloud readiness check variant in order to get uh, the issues in the in this source code. So after execution of uh, cloud readiness check, I see I have some issues here in the custom code. Some, uh, uh, the most of them have to deal with the usage of the ABAP language. Here, for example, I use refresh, move, describe table operators, which are not supported in ABAP uh, language cloud version. And also I use here definitely API in the custom code, which will not be released. 
And here um, you see that the usage of this API should be replaced by the usage of the successor information, successor released API. This is the CDS entity, I business partner. And what you see here from this um, result list that there is a yellow bulb here. So these findings can be adapted using the quick fixes. And this is actually the first recommended step to go. First, adapt your source code using the quick fixes. And therefore, I will just select uh, this list and apply the mass enabled quick fixes to the source. Here you see um, that uh, you can define also some post processing step. I would like to activate this changed object after applying the quick fix and recheck them with uh, Bob Test Cockpit. Just go to the next button. And here you can again examine how your source code look like and how it will look like after applying the quick fix here, for example. Uh, use uh, clear instead of refresh or use uh, lines uh, function instead of describe table and so on. So I just press the finish button and apply all the quick fixes at one shot. And you see after that the code will be activated as post processing steps were chosen and above test cockpit runs. And the only uh, finding which uh, is remained in the custom object is the usage of this API, which uh, will not be released. So I need to adjust this select. I have already here prepared uh, the solution for this select. And uh, I will just take it over, this select here. And uh, replace it. Okay, and of course, I need to replace it here as well. Save this source, activate it, and uh, I just recheck it again with above test cockpit. So uh, I used the success information in order to now have no findings in the code that I use the success information that I need to use CDS view business I business partner instead of uh, direct access to the table. And this success information is provided always in S4 HANA 2022 system. Um, during the adaptation to, uh, of your code to um, ABAP Cloud, you can benefit from the uh, different support in ABAP development tools in Eclipse. Let me just show you uh, how it works. For example, um, here I have a source code and uh, just navigate to this table and let's take a look at the properties of this table but OOO. The a let's examine the API state. You see here this table is not released for the cloud development and it, it, this table will not be released since uh, it's not possible to access directly the tables uh, using about cloud development model. And therefore, this success information is provided directly in the properties of the object under the API state. So you see which object to use as successor in order to adapt uh, the code, uh, um, in order to uh, access the table. So you need to use the CDS view. Use always uh, the properties view in order to see if the object is uh, released for about cloud. Here I navigate, for example, to this CDS view, I business pet partner, and see under API state, this is released for cloud development and uh, you, you, you can use it. Uh, you can also search for the objects which are released, just use the object search and uh, use the property filter, for example, API uh, use in cloud development. And I would like to use uh, to search for all the um, CDS views which are 
available in the system, which are released for cloud development. So just select this filter here, use above search, object search, and you see in the results how many and which uh, CDS views are released for cloud development. Beyond this, you can also work uh, with so-called virtual trees in the Project Explorer and, uh, for example, display all the objects which are released in the system. Here I have created, for example, this released object tree. If you take a look uh, at the properties of this tree, how it was created, it was created based on the property filter API using the cloud development. And you see how the level of the tree is combined application component of object type rooted object type. And you see here for each application component here uh, where you do have uh, released uh, objects. For example, here uh, if we navigate to the component um, under material management, for example, purchasing and uh, purchase requisitions, you see here under uh, the core data services, uh, which uh, core data services are released here, and you see also which um, bodies are released for uh, above cloud development. So you have the support directly in above development tools for above cloud adaptation. And having said that, I will just, uh, oh, just forgotten to show you another thing um, to have also the possibility for the class, which, for example, for the object which was uh, developed with um, st above the standard to, to go to the properties and to, to change the language version of the object. Here is above standard, and if I go and change this uh, language version to above for cloud development, then you will see uh, that the syntax check will run and you see directly the syntax issues in these custom code objects here. The usage of direct access to the table is not permitted. You need to use the CDS view. So again, uh, you, you have here the possibility to change the language version. And if you go now um, back to the slides here, just once again, the overview, which capabilities you have directly in above development tools in Eclipse in order to um, use above cloud uh, for your development. So you can directly switch the language uh, version, for example, on custom object level, and you will uh, end with syntax errors in the custom code and can go on and fix this syntax errors for this object. You can use released object three in the object uh, in the project explorer. You can search for released APIs and uh, you can use properties view in order to see uh, if the object is released for cloud usage or uh, which successor API is available. And there is also a detailed block in the community which describes all these options in above development tools in Eclipse. So you maybe ask yourself, okay, if I don't have S4HANA 2022 system, but still want to see uh, how far is my custom code from above cloud, um, is it possible? It is also possible in the older system as 2022 release. In this case, you also will use the custom code migration app for analysis, but the custom code migration uh, app uh, needs the uh, information about which uh, APIs from this Fafana application stack uh, are released for uh, above cloud usage. And therefore, there is so-called uh, cloudification repository and the information from this cloudification repository is used by the custom code migration app for analysis. And this is how it looks like. Um, here, this uh, cloudification repository is provided on the GitHub. And uh, under the source, you have um, access to all available uh, uh, cloudification repositories for release. For example, if you want to analyze your custom code for private cloud edition 2022, uh, uh, 
feature pack two, then you have here the corresponding uh, JSON file with information about released APIs, and uh, you, you can use it here, for example, this one. Here you can also take a look uh, at the JSON file, for example, if I would like to uh, see how the successor you, uh, looks like for the table conf, then I can just uh, navigate here and see that uh, here this success information, this CDS view must be used to access the table conf and so on. And uh, for example, um, I have here uh, the older system, ERP system, and I have here the package uh, with custom code objects which uh, uses direct accesses to the table, like for example conf, uh, like for example here direct select from conf, like for example direct access to the Mara table here, direct access to the Mara and so on. And I would like this uh, packages in the older ERP system even, and uh, I would like to check uh, this um, custom port for about cloud. In this case, um, I would need my custom port migration app uh, runs in the ABAP SAP BTP ABAP environment. And therefore the procedure would be in the SAP BTP ABAP environment to change, uh, to copy the above cloud readiness objects, uh, uh, check variant here. How above cloud readiness check variant looks like. And uh, you would need just to copy it and create your own custom variant as I have done here, I have created this custom variant. And uh, additionally, what you need to do under the cloud readiness check, you need to uncheck usage of released APIs and check usage of released APIs via cloudification repository. And here under the value, we just provide the link to this JSON file that I have showed you, this cloudification repository in this case, Force for HANA Private Edition 2022 Feature Pack 2 for which uh, uh, for released APIs in this release, and uh, you can then save, activate correspondingly this check variant and use it in the custom code migration app. So if you now go back uh, to the custom code migration app, then what you would need to do. You would uh, just go back here. You would just need to create custom code analysis project. And give it a name and here select this check variant which you have copied from above cloud readiness your custom variant this is this one and uh, you need of course to provide the connection to the system and under advanced configuration you can uh, just provide uh, which uh, packages which objects you would like to check so by using this Add button, I can just choose this package which I would like to check and uh, just press create button and create the project uh, which will analyze the code. So I just discard this draft and show you uh, the same project which I have prepared beforehand. It would be quicker. And this is actually the same one. The check variant 
this custom check variant is used, which I've just created, which is uses cloudification repository, and the custom code of the package is analyzed, and you see here this number of the findings. The analysis was already executed, and just by clicking on this number of the findings, um, you will get the analysis results for Bob Cloud. And you see here, there is a certain amount of findings which uh, have to deal with the usage of uh, not released APIs in the codification repository. You see, and also the um, incompatibilities with above language version cloud are also provided here. You see here, access to the APIs which were not released, this class accesses if you go to the details of the findings, you see here that the class here is um, accesses directly the stable con. You see uh, the source code uh, and uh, the access to this table conf must be replaced uh, through the access to the corresponding CDS view, which we have also looked up in the JSON file, and uh, this information is also um, will be provided here in the details of the findings. So just let's go. Just back and see again the details of the finding, and you see here that instead of direct access to the conf, this CDS view should be used. So in this way, you can also check um, your system, which is older as 2022 release, even ERP system, for the readiness for above cloud. You can get issues and successor information um, directly in the custom code migration app. You will not get it in the system, but you will get it in the custom code migration app. And if you are, for example, on s 2021 release, then you can start adapting your custom code to these APIs, which are indicated as released in the next release uh, in the, uh, 2022. In this way, you can just go closer to our cloud development model uh, with your custom code in the system. So this was about uh, which uh, possibilities you have, which options do you have, and uh, custom code analysis options uh, for your uh, custom code in order to renovate it and to adapt it to above cloud. Um, if you uh, don't want to do it directly on stack, if you have see a valid use case which you would like to outsource to um, SAP Business Technology Platform, to a web environment there, then uh, we have uh, some kind of support for you in the custom code migration app. We have this dependency analysis dashboard. Uh, we have uh, found out the actual show stoppers for the custom code transformation to SAP business technology platform above environment is the amount of uh, direct accesses to SAP application tables in the custom code and uh, to application APIs. And these calls are um, counted in, during dependency analysis and are presented in the corresponding dashboard. So you see, if you have the valid use case for, which is decoupled from SAP standard, which you would like to move uh, to the BTP above environment, you can check uh, how uh, far it is decoupled with SAP standard using this dependency analysis. It should serve uh, as a small help for you, for your decision making to transform your custom code uh, to business technology platform. And uh, for that case, uh, you can also run um, cloud readiness checks over your custom code uh, using custom code migration app, and the checks will detect the uh, incompatibilities in your custom code with uh, above cloud detect the usage of not released objects here don't need the information uh, of the released about the released objects from this Fahana solution you need only the information of the released objects inside of SAP BTP above environment system so you don't have here the application stack 
only SAP basis stack, and therefore the uh, standard cloud readiness checks should be sufficient here. We also have the quick fixes. And uh, how do you bring your custom code to BTP above environment? So you analyze your custom code uh, for cloud readiness using custom code migration app, cloud readiness checks and cloud connector. And uh, after that, you can uh, push your uh, custom code from the above using above Git plugin and on-premise system to the external Git repository outside of the system. And then you would use ABAP development tools with uh, ABAP Git plugin inside of ABAP development tools in order to pull your code uh, from the external Git repository. And finally, you will use ABAP development tools and quick fixes to adapt your code for cloud readiness inside of BTP ABAP environment. As I already mentioned, we have the quick fixes for cloud issues. You can use the quick fixes to adapt your code uh, for the above for cloud development language version, also for usage of released objects inside of BTP above environment system, and uh, so on. So we offer also the quick fixes here. So another option which you have for custom code uh, after the system conversion is the complete innovation. Innovation means that uh, you just uh, don't on, you don't only adapt existing application to about cloud, you just think about how to write uh, an other application which realizes this business scenario because you have new s features which you can use because you have, if you do it side by side, you have new services on business technology platform like machine learning, for example, which you can also uh, use in your new application. You have completely new capabilities. And you can, uh, in this case, you develop completely new application using above cloud development model, either on step inside of Isfahana or side by side using business technology platform and above environment. So here at one, uh, just an overview about which are main principles actually of development such application with above cloud development model. This is, of course, uh, using always released APIs from ABAP platform and from s solution, if you develop it, of course, on stack inside of s system. The usage of released APIs will be checked automatically by ABAP compiler. And uh, you will, if you use uh, ABAP for cloud development language version, you have already seen how to switch the language version from standard ABAP to ABAP for cloud development language version in above development tools in Eclipse. You can uh, create custom APIs if you want to use uh, unreleased API and need a wrapper for that. And the usage of custom APIs will be checked by ATC. And uh, you use only released extension points like bodies to extend SAP objects. You use a RESTful application programming model for your developments with above cloud. And of course, CDS, MDPs, and ABAP SQL for uh, HANA utilization. ABAP development tools for Eclipse is the IDA of choice for all kinds of development with ABAP Cloud. And uh, here we'll show you how to use ABAP test cockpit to adapt ABAP Cloud. Here, uh, the issue is if you start to innovate, start to develop complete new application. Um, it can be still the case and you still have this three-tier landscape where you have also classic ABAP developments and you need somehow to handle this. And therefore, the proposal is for uh, to adopt ABAP Cloud, to use ABAP Test Cockpit for all the three tiers developments, to set up remote ABAP Test Cockpit in your landscape and connect your development system to uh, this central ABAP Test Cockpit system. And the recommendation is to use ABAP Cloud Development uh, default uh, check variant to copy it, create your custom variant, and add additional checks from the cloud readiness category as well. So you will check your existing custom code with uh, cloud development default check variant plus the cloud readiness checks. Like, for example, um, you will check the 
we will add the above language version checks and allowed objects type for, for cloud development usage of released APIs and so on. And um, this uh, check variant is proposed to be used for your all kinds of developments in your as for HANA private cloud or on-premise solution um, in this three tier landscape which you have after the transformation, uh, after the system conversion. And since uh, you are coming after the system conversion with a lot of legacy code, uh, we propose to create initial ATC baseline for these legacy developments. Uh, it means execute ABAP test cockpit with ABAP cloud readiness check variant and take the findings in, um, in the code after running this check variant into baseline. In this uh, way, you can just read of your uh, issues in the, cust in the legacy custom code and start your uh, new developments in the three-tier landscape, uh, so to say cloud ready. So you will still have the cases where you need to uh, do uh, legacy developments in the tier three, like for example, you need to use extend uh, gene propagation or you need to use a uh, legacy extension technique like uh, enhancement or modification in your legacy code. For all these cases, we recommend to work with the exemptions, apply for exemptions uh, for the cases where above cloud development model cannot be applied for development and um, use uh, everywhere um, above cloud to reduce the amount of the classic above code uh, in the three tier landscape. So more in detail about it and the exemption use cases uh, are provided in the corresponding log. You can also use exemption browser to get the overview about uh, how far is your system from the clean core, how many exemptions do you have for the cases which uh, must be developed using classic um, above extensibility options. Um, of course, if you innovate uh, side by side using SAP BTP above environment, then uh, you are on the secure side. You can develop only using above cloud development model. You develop side by side and use only released uh, APIs from the uh, underlying uh, above stack and uh, you use above language version uh, which is cloud enabled also and for the functionality which you need from the Escojana solution you can uh, use it use the remote APIs so uh, this is also the way how you can innovate you can innovate side by side using uh, SAP business above environment as a business technology platform above environment Okay, here a short summary. Um, here at one glance, uh, all custom code analysis options. Uh, you can still actually use remote ATC for some use cases with the SAP GUI, but you don't have there the capability to upload usage data, you don't have the quick fixes information there. And uh, therefore, uh, the proposal is to use custom code migration app. You can still use it uh, either on in the Svahana system, in the sandbox, for example, or you can use it in SAP BTP above environment, which is uh, recommended. They have automated sit setup using cloud integration automation service. You get always the newest features because the uh, app is updated quarterly with SAP BTP above environment, and uh, you can do there all the kinds of analysis for s for HANA, for cloud readiness uh, inside of BTP above environment system or also for uh, above cloud. Uh, if you have no experience with the custom code migration app yet, uh, you can get started with it uh, using the SAP Discovery Center mission. We have the mission here dedicated for as for HANA analysis use case, the app will run in SAP BTP ABAP environment, will be set up automatically, the um, connection to your on-premise system will be set up automatically using uh, cloud integration automation service uh, workflow, and uh, the mission offers you guided step-by-step uh, -step custom port analysis for the as for HANA use case. 
key takeaways for you. After S4HANA system conversion, uh, we propose to reuse S4HANA cloud extensibility model with about cloud as far as possible and uh, for your developments and minimize and control the content of tier three. Um, we recommend to retire the unused code. You can uh, collect usage data using above call monitors, UCG, upload it uh, using um, to the custom code migration app and uh, either remove the unused code from the system or back up it. At least you would need to adapt your code for S4HANA. And again, here, custom code migration app should be used for custom code analysis for S4HANA and for adaptation. You will use uh, about development tools for Eclipse with uh, mass enabled quick fixes for S4HANA. And also, after the adaptation, uh, we recommend to execute a SQL monitor to, in order to find out the performance problems and optimize them uh, after that. You can renovate existing custom code into the direction of Above Cloud. And there you have uh, the support in the tools like this complexity analysis in the custom code migration app in order to detect and eliminate complex developments, top TCO drivers, so to say, new custom code. And you have uh, about this cockpit where you can adapt your custom code for about cloud. And uh, you, you can you have the about cloud support and about development tools uh, as well. You have dependency analysis for outsourcing of the custom code to BTP about the environment and so on. And uh, you can completely innovate. You can completely develop new applications, and therefore the recommendation is here to use about this cockpit to control and minimize usage of classic ABAP and develop only uh, about cloud ready applications or you can alternatively innovate uh, side by side and use SAP BTP ABAP environment uh, to develop new cloud ready extensions on business technology platform. More information is provided in the dedicated about testing analysis community. I really recommend to visit the community here because we have for dedicated topics for uh, about cloud adaptation, for analysis for S4HANA or BTP. We have here a certain amount of information and blocks how to analyze and adapt your custom code. Having said that, I uh, Thank you very much for your attention. And I'm, now I'm at the end of the presentation and uh, I hope you will visit the SAP community and you will find more information on custom code migration. Thank you very much for your attention. And now I will just hand over. Thank you, Olga, for well-explained uh, session. Thank you, Thomas, for supporting the questions in the chat. So attendees of this session, kindly note, if you want to earn the points, then you may want to complete uh, the validation tutorial. The link to the tutorial will be in the chat as well as in the description. So thank you all for joining and I uh, hope to see you in the next session. Thank you.